Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Franny. Today's video is going to be another story time. Today I decided I'm gonna tell you guys a story. Hello? I have friends. Oh wait, no. Never mind. I don't have friends. And my laptop is open. And I just opened it up so all of my old messages from the past like day or two just flowing on it. <laughs> So today's story time is going to be the story on why I am terrified of horses. I have, I think I've said this a few times in videos when I talk about my fears of different things and it's like blood and like all that other stuff, you know. One of my biggest fears are horses and today you'll find out why. And I was like, you know what, why not? I was like, what, what should I film today? And I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna film this. I don't know if y'all enjoyed it, but I guess y'all thought my other story time was really interesting about how birth control almost killed me. So if you haven't seen that, I immediately like feel nauseous. I run to the bathroom. I kid you not. I literally walk into the bathroom. I flick the lights on and I black out. Like I completely, you know like when people pass out like, like, that's what happened to me. Like, I completely blacked out when I- I'll leave a link down below and y'all can go check that out. I never know how to start the story. I don't know where to start it. This probably happened to me, I want to say around the ages of 12 or 13. I went on a vacation with one of my good friends growing up and her family. And we went to Costa Rica. I was like, why not? My parents were really close with her parents and yeah, we went to Costa Rica. Mm, God, this is so triggering. Keep in mind, this is like one of the first times being away from my mom. I had severe anxiety growing up, like being away from my mom. I could not sleep over people's houses. I could not, like I literally would try and go and sleep over someone's house and my mom would have to come pick me up at like eight o'clock because I just couldn't sleep over. I was one of those kids. So I finally grew the balls to get on out and venture out of the country alone. Go out and go to Costa Rica. I think I was there for like a week, week and a half. It was cool with my friend's family. One day, they're like, all right, we're gonna go horseback riding because we're gonna go to uh, Cal Calvalgata. I, I think that's what it's called. It's like a horse show, like a big like rodeo horse show thing. They do a huge hike with the with the horses up in the mountains of Costa Rica. They're like, okay, let's just go horseback riding so you get a feel of what Hello? We all get a feel of what it's like climbing up or getting into the mountains on a horse. I've never have been horseback riding like this before. I don't even know if I've been horseback riding. Sorry, I'm like really beating around the bush because the th story is just <laughs> triggering. So we go horseback riding one morning. It's a group of us. We're with my friend's family, a few of their family friends. We all get on horses. I specifically remember what my horse looked like too. My horse looked like a cow. It was like a white and black spotted horse. My horse was Cool. Like I had a very chill horse. It was not crazy, super mellow. Thank goodness, Lord, thank you that my horse was chill. Um, and you guys are probably like, whoa, that pretty, what's the issue? Wait for it. We all gather up and we're all on this trail. You know, we're trotting, we're trotting, we're going. And all of a sudden, one of the horses that we were with, a lady was on, got spooked. Like the horse literally just out of nowhere, I don't, I honestly don't know what happened to the horse, but it got spooked. And the horse that this lady was on, she just took off. Like literally the horse just booked it. Not even like a split second for someone to try and calm it down. It just took off. Everyone panicked. The people who owned the horses booked, t booked off or chased off after her, literally. So it was the lady's horse went nuts, went off. Then the people on the horses, they went trying to chase the horse. We all were kind of like panicking. We didn't know what to do. But then, then like the other adults we were with were like, okay, just like calm down. Like, let's just keep going. Like, let's just walk slowly. When that horse got spooked, a few of the other horses started like, <laughs> like kind of like getting excited. Like I said, my horse was chill, didn't move. Started trotting our way down the path, like really slowly, like just making sure no one else's horse gets spooked. I'm like low key just, in panic mode i'm just panicking i'm just like oh my god I'm, like keep in mind i'm already an anxious kid like i had severe anxiety so it's like oh my gosh it was scary we finally catch up to the lady and the horse so we basically find out that she fell off the horse like the horse was just going crazy and she fell off the horse i find this out and you know we still trot over there keep in mind if you saw my other story time i'm not good with blood and i pass out a lot so i don't know why i decided to go over there but i trotted my horse over there I see the lady on the ground. She has her freaking head gashed open. Like, I kid you not, like a gash, like went across her forehead. And I was like, oh my gosh, she was bleeding everywhere. I pass out onto my horse. I was literally on my horse. And I just like, like literally like that on the horse. Like the horse's 
neck was right here and I literally just passed out on my horse. I was pretty unconscious. I didn't know what was going on. The group of people I was with, I guess, didn't realize that I passed out <laughs> and they trotted away. So little old Franny in the jungle of Costa Rica, like literally we were in the mountains like there were pueblos like little like civilization like, like uh, what, is, what are they called villages like little pueblos like there were literally little villages in the mountain and i pray like thank god like that the people that found me from the village were literally these really sweet ladies like they were moms like they were mothers and i think like a grandma like they were so sweet and <laughs> they take me off of my horse i'm passed out and i'm like unconscious like i don't even know what's going on they take me off of the horse they pick me up carry me into the inside their house I, I barely remember it but it was so insane they bring me inside the house they lay me onto this bed and they literally lift my feet up trying to get me back unconscious okay now i realize this these story times are probably gonna be a lot about me passing out. So they lift my feet up and I finally start waking up. They, I remember them giving me a cup of sugar with water, you know, to like wake up, to bring my blood pressure up. I was very pale, very cold, and my body was just not doing good. I don't remember how much time went by, but the people I was with finally came back for me. I guess they realized, I don't think it was that long. They came back for me and they were like, oh my God, what happened? And the people were like, oh, she passed out on her horse. I don't know whether my horse maybe trotted to the side and they didn't realize. I remember when I passed, you see, I don't remember that well, but I just remember passing out and like them taking me off of the horse kind of like in a different area. I don't know. I am so thankful that my horse, like I said, my horse, was really chill if i had some ballistic freaking horse i would have been dead or like i would have my horse would have just trotted into the jungle alone so i wake up i'm like panicking i obviously start crying because i'm just like something's printing hold on one second i think my dad is printing something Hold for sound, Dave. <laughs> they came back for me, like I said, I woke up crying. I was just panicking. I'm like 12 or 13, like I'm in a random person's house. I, it just wasn't, obviously I just it was a area I was not familiar with. So panic, yeah, panic mode. Keep in mind, I'm not used to being away from my mom. So when something like that happens, I just want to be with my mom. All I wanted to do at that moment, I remember was just, I want my mom, I want my mom, I want my mom. After that, I was just terrified. I didn't want to get on a horse and that horse show rodeo thing that we were gonna do, they were gonna put me, instead of a horse, because I was scared to go on the horse, they were like, oh, we're gonna put you on a pregnant pony. And I'm like, what? I'm not gonna get on a pregnant pony to climb into the mountains. Like, that's just asking for it. Like, poor pony. I felt so bad. The pregnant pony, no. And then I just hung out at the horse show rodeo thing, like just like with the moms and like I didn't really do much because I was just petrified. After that whole situation, I was just not going to get on a horse. And it, you see, it wasn't even because my horse went ballistic, it's because I saw someone else's horse go ballistic and then the whole me passing out because I saw her and then I got left behind a little bit and was lost in the jungle of Costa Rica alone. That, that really was the reason, it's just because I saw someone else's horse go ballistic. I know ho horses like when I see horses from the distance, they're beautiful to me I think horses are beautiful, but for me, it's it's hard It's not like when you talk to a dog, you know how like when a dog you can just give it commands I guess and it's like no stop and dogs aren't that big horses I feel like one thing can spook them and that's it. You're done like they could throw you off They can kick you they can I had a friend in high school. She used to ride horses She would tell me like oh, yeah, my horse has kicked me in the stomach multiple times and I instantly threw up like it can kill you and I'm just like I'm like, why? What? I'm like, get me away. Like, I don't want to ride a horse. I do eventually want to conquer my fear and ride a horse again because I just haven't done it since. I don't think I have. And I think if I have, I just was petrified. I don't think I have. I think I've just been always petrified of horses. But yeah, guys, that's basically why I'm really scared of horses. It's just a story that, like I said, just the most random things happen to me. Like, what are the odds that I'm just like, lost in the jungle of Costa Rica and I passed out on a horse and like people from a village just put me in this inside their house and like woke me back up like that just doesn't happen like that's not what the, the, the <laughs> this just doesn't normally happen to like a 12 year old on vacation in Costa Rica you know but you know it's fine I've grown I've learned from the situation don't ride a horse in the jungle of anywhere <laughs> so yeah guys that's my story time for that I hope y'all enjoyed it I hope y'all learn from my mistakes if y'all want to hear more story times, please let me know because I am down. Whoa, I just like 
got hypnotized by something that's weird but yeah let me know if you want me to do any other story times i have so many stories of me passing out like the most ridiculous ones so if you want to hear those <laughs> i will be glad to go ahead and tell you all that when i was growing up i passed out left and right it was very scary for me so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below on what other videos you'd like to see me do put those push notifications on so when i upload you all know exactly what i do do not forget to subscribe and i will talk to you guys later bye